So most people are familiar with Christianity as being one of the major world religions, but there are a lot of different opinions what it's actually about. Is it just going to a certain church or adhering to a certain tradition? When I was growing up, I was very aware of uh, Christianity and I wanted to be a Christian, but it was only when I was a student that I started asking myself the deeper questions of what's it all really about and what's the meaning of life. And so one day I prayed to God that if he's truly there, he would reveal himself to me and he started to do that. Um, particularly, I started to read Bible verses and they spoke to me in a personal way. And at one stage, I participated in a course at my university where we had six uh, meetings uh, studying different topics from the Gospel of Mark. And at the last meeting, the person there, he explained very uh, clearly what the overall message of the Bible was. I understood it. Suddenly, everything became clear as crystal. And I accepted this message into my life. And this is what uh, changed my life. If we read the Gospel of Mark, we see that the um, central message of Christianity is actually very uh, simple and clear. The first, bar, uh, the first book, or the first verse, I should say, of Mark says, the beginning of the Gospel, or the good news, which, is, which means uh, Gospel, about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. So we see that Christianity is ultimately just about a person, it's about Jesus Christ. And if we ask ourselves, well, what was his message? We see further on in Mark 1, 15, that when Jesus started his ministry, he said, uh, the time is has come, the kingdom of God is near, repent and believe the good news, this uh, gospel. So that's all Christianity is. It's about repenting and believing the good news. Uh, an illustration I heard for repenting is that um, somebody I know from Germany went to America with the plan of buying a car on the East Coast and driving it to the West Coast. He bought the car on the East Coast. He started off on the highway, uh, traveling in a direction, but he noticed that on the road signs, E was written. After a while, he started thinking, well, I wonder what this E is all about. And eventually he stopped got out his map, uh, looked at it, and he realised that E meant east. So he had wanted to go west, but for about 100 kilometres he'd been driving east. So what did he do? He got back into his car, he turned it around, and he went back in the other direction. So this is repentance, it means to realise that you're going in the wrong direction, to stop, to turn around and go back in the right direction. And here it says about believing the good news. Well, this simply means to believe in an active, true way in Jesus, who, as we've seen in the first verse, is the good news. Uh, in Romania, I did a number of uh, risky things at camps, one of which was abseiling down a sheer rock face. At the beginning, when I was having to get onto the rock face, I was extremely nervous and it took quite a bit of convincing to get myself on there. But once I was there, once I'd um, uh, been secured by the rope and everything, and once I actually leant back, I felt that the rope was secure, that it was um, taut, that it was um, tightly secured to a tree. And as I leaned back, I felt it supporting my weight and gradually I started to trust in it. I gradually started to move down the cliff face and once I got going, it wasn't so bad. I trusted the rope and I made it to the bottom. So this is what it means in the Bible when it says believe the good news or believe in Jesus. It means to actually trust in him, to trust that his plan is best for our lives, to trust that he has died and paid for our sins, that we don't need to do any good deeds or the like to cover those over. We simply need to trust that our sins have been forgiven, that he's paid the price for them. And if we have this true living faith in him, we can then start a new life with him uh, led in his path and in his ways. 
So this is simply the good news, the gospel, and I hope and pray that you will experience this in your lives. So have a good day. Bye-bye.